The sounds and cowbells permeating downtown Everett for the last time of this season. And the Everett Silver Tips are hoping it is a catalyst of a historic comeback. Down three games to one. They're set here for game five of the Rogers WHL Championship Series. And we are glad you can be with us. And the Tips were in their home white jerseys with white numbers on back and a green trim. And the Broncos in their road blue jerseys, white numbers on back and a green trim as well. Referees, as assigned by the Western Hockey League, are Jeff Ingram and Reagan Vetter, Nick Bilko, Ron Ditterell are your linesmen. Opening puck drop brought to you by Washington's Lottery. Underway as a tip, throw it into the Broncos zone going left to right. First on the puck is Colby Sissons. Long toss left wing, sails down the length. It's icing and a faceoff will come back into the Broncos zone. 17 seconds in. Well, and right away, as you mentioned in the open that we get our first look at a, a different line where well, we did for a second we saw Fontaine Pilon and Bikoff and now Fontaine and Bikoff stay out but Fasco Rudis comes on face off at the right circle it is won by Swift Kerr and as Manulin stretch pass finds Gondon through center ice skates in wrist shot knocked down by Kevin Davis in the slot that deflecting up and out and we are 25 seconds down here in game five I'm not sure if that's uh, you know a sign of of things to come maybe just a little bit of a, a different look a little uh, gamesmanship if you will and a couple of early whistles here just 25 seconds in but I already see it go back to the second line that comes out for the silver tips and it's the usual suspects in Sutter and Dewar and Pilon. Face off is controlled by the Broncos. Anderson for Malenstein, left corner. And return to the circle, but turned away by Garrett Pilon. The center ice come the tips. Left wing doer in across the line. Snapshot is blocked by Kara and deflecting over to the right corner. Malenstein punching one behind his zone net. Taken away, and Kara up the right side to Estefan, who shovels it in. Silver tip zone to the blocker side corner of Carter Hart. Malenstein checked by Wyatt Wiley and forcing it to the right boards for Gennaro. This cycle pass now behind the cage, and Wiley takes it away from Malenstein. Tips win that battle and get this one to center ice. Pilon for Dewar. Angles it back in. Tips go for a change, and now we have 18.49 to go here in period one. Strong opening shift from Wyatt Wiley. Very physical, pushing his man off the puck, winning a battle behind the net. That's a great sign. Tips now put Bryce Kindop out alongside Reese Vitelli and Sean Richards. Through center Richards, left wing for Vitelli and across the line. And a drop pass out of the reach of Richards as Manulin kicks it back to center ice. Ian Walker will smash it back in. We get offside here coming up, and we have now 18-26 remaining here in period number one. The Silver Tips 9-8. and eight. All time in game five situations, they have won six of those nine victories here on home ice. And previously to the Western Conference Championship were two of two, and they outscored Seattle and Portland by a combined total of 8 nothing. That's some positive numbers to drop on there. Certainly this team has a lot of positive experiences, but always encouraging when you hear those signs too. Nagel will shovel it in. And behind the silver tip net it rolls. The tips and Reese Vitelli pick up. Atasa's center is now knocked down by the Broncos at their own blue line, and Colby Sissons with control. 18.05 to go as Nagel lost his stick. Sissons dumps it in behind the net. Carter Hart plays it off now to the left side. And Gianni Fairbrother, a shovel pass ahead, but broken up by Caden Elder. Into the right corner, Fairbrother. Up for Richards. Leaves the kind off to neutral zone territory. Advancing Vitelli and across the line on a wrist shot from the right wing is gloved by Stuart Skinner. And he hangs on now with 17.45 to go here in period one. Yeah, initially, that line getting the puck in on sides. A little bit of space for Vitelli to shoot. Shooting lanes have been so difficult. I, I totally agree with the idea to try and throw some pucks towards Skinner. When you know you're not at a, in a premium scoring position, sometimes you want to see those shots a little lower so that he can't glove it and uh, settle things down. Maybe throw it at the pads, see if he can get a juicy rebound to pop out. But uh, early stages here, throwing the puck on that, always a good idea. And Swift Curran tried to clear it on a cross ice pass. Tibbs held it in, but eventually is forced back to center. Andre Vala from the neutral zone shoots one into the net, save made Skinner, and leaves it now left side for Anderson. And Manza up the left for Gennaro. Chipped around Kevin Davis as they race into the corner. Malenstein jumping in. Washington Capitals prospect. Davis goes to work to poke it free. Dallas Stars prospect Andre Valla got the clear up the left wing. A feed out of the reach of Martin Fasco-Rudis. 
Who's up front again here with Fontaine and Baikov. Tips rerouted back at their own blue line as now Vala with 17.04 to go. Feeds Kevin Davis right side, awaiting the completion of a change. And now it's Vala ahead for Sutter, who scoots it back in, taking away Kara. And advancing one through center and chip back in now by Max Patterson. Behind the silver tip net with 16.45 to go. Christensen battling left corner. Now taken away, Sisson centering toss, knocked away off of Patterson as Wyatt Wiley tied his stick up. Tips counter attack, left wing pylon for Dewar, cross ice out of the reach of Sutter. Wiley tees up and knocked down by traffic as Dewar was awaiting right in front of the Bronco net, and this one's cleared. I think if that gets through that initial uh, initial Bronco there, there is an easy deflection there. Whether it goes or not, unsure, but there was a great looking setup, a rush from the silver tips there, good sign. Now a long stretch pass for Swift Current. Left wing Cole Gable drives the net. Say May Carter Hart. Rebound behind the cage and taken by the Silver Tips and Jake Christensen. Just one shot apiece for these two teams, and it kind of feels like a little bit of game four is carried over. Yeah, it was a cagey affair uh, compared to a more open ice in game three. Vitelli stick handling through center. Right wing Kindop leaving Richardson across the line to his off wing. Pulls up, protects the puck. And he has Ian Walker at the blue line. His pass shovel back, but taken away by Elder. 15.41 to go and a chip and chase. Back into the silver tip zone. Knocked aside, pinned out to center ice for the silver tips. Leaves it right wing for Richards and chopped away by Anderson. Fighting will funnel it back in. Silver tip zone behind the net. First on puck is Ian Walker. A swift current changes ahead of the play. Tips are center. Fontaine tripped up. Delay call coming. Bykov into the zone. Lays one in front to Fasco. Where to save. Rebound Bykov and he couldn't handle. But touched up by RTM Manulin. And the silver tips to the power play with 15-14 to go. A tripping call as Glenn Godden will take a seat. Now Matt Fontaine picked up the ice with a full tank and a burst of steam out of his own end. Sidestep not one but two. Uh, Swift Current Broncos there would have been two if not for the lag of Godden that stuck out. I liked the, after that the fact that these guys kind of newly joined together. Bikoff, Fontaine, Pasco Rudis. Great little pass by Bikoff and Pasco Rudis went to the net, collected for a great opportunity. Tips control off the face off left circle. Bikoff dropping Davis left side. Fontaine to the top. Davis tees one up and a save made with Kendop setting a screen. Left circle, Fontaine rolls it in deep, chipped away by Sissons. Fontaine got back, goes low to high for Davis, who rides the blue line. To the right circle, Bykov hangs on. Shooting lane was cut off, so Bykov resets, and a saucer pass off to the left side for Fontaine. Hangs on to it, jammed away by Gennaro. Fontaine recovering, takes it wide into the corner, slips it in front to Kindop, back for Richards, knocked away by Malenstein, and Richards ties them up again. Into the corner, Fontaine. Throws it back to the left point for Bykov. Steps in and fed it left side out of the reach of Fontaine. Tips are 1 of 14 in the power play in this series. And a loose puck clear back down the lane by Mateo Gennaro. That's trying to be a little too quick there, I think. Uh, the control was good. They read the puck. They supported each other when it got tied up along the boards and won some battles. But then once they had a little bit of time, just rushed things a little bit too much. 58 seconds on the man advantage for the Silver Tips who bring it in with Pilon down the right side. On a pass in behind, overshooting Riley Sutter. And it's cleared back down the length again by Swift Currents, Tyler Steenbergen. Three to one, shots advantage, silver tips. And again, game one, a nothing-nothing affair so far. A tight development like in game four. An outlet now from Wiley to Sutter right wing. He'll chip it in deep to the right corner, and Sutter going after Kara. Dewar in behind the cage. Centering toss to Wiley, he scores! Wyatt Wiley, a power play goal. It is his second of the postseason. 13.41 to go, period one. Converting, Connor Dewar centering toss and the Silver Tips lead it one nothing. Uh, what a positive start for the Silver Tips for many reasons. Obviously the opening goal was huge. It comes on the power play, which had been going through a little bit of a rut. Just one for 14, as you had said. Good to see it get going. And how about good for Wyatt Wiley, who had such a big series against Tri-City in the Western Conference Final. Hadn't heard much from him this 
series. Hadn't had a point yet in four games, but he comes up huge right there on a great feed from Connor Dewar. 14th of 16 postseason games now. The Silver Tips have scored first. A 1-0 lead as the hometown guy, Wyatt Wiley of Everett, gets this building buzzing. Tips counter now left side as Matt Fontaine will angle it in. Against the backboards, King drills one for Swift Kern to the near side off Epo Niemi and to center ice is Glenn Godden. Skates down across the line of the right wing, but he's offside. And we have 13-10 to go here in period one. Wiley at 6-19. Connor Dewar and Riley Sutter pick up the assist. Yeah, a great job. Uh, uh, kind of a slow developing second unit there. Uh, the, un the unit itself wasn't slow developing, but they were out there, and the play was a little slow developing in the neutral zone, but a quick pass up the ice to Sutter, who just absorbed a hit, got the puck down low, and then Dewar came, supported him, picked it up, and just really read Wyatt Wiley well, who read the play well, and got it to him in a perfect spot for a one-timer. So it gets this building into a good mood. Tip score on their fourth shot of the game. The center ice is Dewar up the left wing. And taken away as Estefan will funnel it back in. Left side corner of Carter Hart. Tips for game. Wiley up the left side to center. Dewar goes cross ice. And P lost Asian to the neutral zone. Chipped it in off of Riley Sutter, but it's cleared back out by Colby Sissons. P lost. Dumping one toward the net for the neutral zone. Save made by Skinner. And forced to hang on as. Dewar was parked right in front and drew some attention as well from Sissons. And we get a whistle here with 12.34 to go in period one. Silver Tips have now scored the first goal of this series three of five times. They lead 1-0. Uh, yeah, it's a great one. It was just what the doctor ordered here in this first period for the Silver Tips. Don't have to think too long and hard now about that shutout streak that Skinner had going for an extended period of time for five periods, basically. Five plus period, so great sign. Tips control. Richards now dropping it right side for Ian Walker. He'll work it into the corner and turned away by King with 12.22 to go. In a 1 0 Silver Tips advantage, and this one sent back to the Silver Tip line. Heavy collision ahead of the play. That's what got the crowd going. And now Gable brings it back in, but chopped away by Vitelli and Fighton shoots it back in from center. Tips and Gianni Fairbrother collect behind Carter Hart. Stretch pass to center ice, finding Richards. Looking left wing, Fighton took it away. Bykov gets it back, skates in, cuts right. Wrist shot knocked down by King. And a rebound behind the cage, and Sissons back to get it. King up the right boards to Gable, and Swift Curran clears the zone. 11.45 to go, Tips take it away. Fontaine to Bykov in the slot, took the shot wide. And a loose puck in behind us now. Fontaine sends it back up high, but out of the reach of Kevin Davis. To center it goes with now 11.31 to go. Tips bring it back in. Fontaine left wing to the front for Davis. Out of his reach, centering toss. Vasco Rudis just slides wide. Epo Niemi far boards. Trip to center ice. Here comes Godin. Two on two and across the line. Got on by one. Wrist shot. Bad save. Carter Hart. Rebound to the right corner. Epo Niemi controlling. At the circle, centering toss, Steenbergen fires, and a save made by Hart off the stick. Rebound left corner for Steenbergen. Takes it wide, sent one, got in, cross ice, Epo Niemi. Couldn't lock and load. Epo Niemi sent it back, clear to center. 10.55 to go as Epo Niemi brings it back in right wing, floats one of the front and out of the reach of Steenbergen. And now Sutter pounds it right boards and kept in by Manulin. At the left circle. Manulin chopped away by Riley Sutter. We'll send this one behind the silver tip net. Vala is there, and the tip's back on the move. Dewar dumps it in. This will be an icing call, however, and we have 10.31 to go in period one. This building right now is getting going every shift, and that first goal helped take care of things. It's 1-0 silver tips. And they have the lead right now in shots at 5-3. Uh, and then they came back and wanted some more. Bike off. Fasco, Rudis, Fontaine looking very sharp here early. They got a couple of good looks at Skinner. And then the Broncos answered, and Carter Hart had to make a couple of really big saves. Initially on Godden was one as he broke in when the Silvertips D had pinched in. Uh, made, took a strong play right to the front of the net as the faceoff comes right to Hart. But not just that save on Godden. After that, the Broncos really started moving the puck 
quickly, um, efficiently, right in around intricate, what you would say tic-tac-toe passing before a goal, except they weren't able to, to score that goal. Another big save from Hart on Steenbergen and a huge deflection from Fasco Rudis to get the puck deflected and out of the zone so the tips could catch their breath. Broncos in there. Third appearance, or bigger part, and I should say bidding for their third WHL championship. Last came back in 1993. Namesakes of that club, Dean McGammon and Shane Knighty in the tips. Trying to counter that and open up a plane right here for both these teams to Swift Current tomorrow. 10.25 to go here in period one. Game five tips up 1-0. Pilon ahead for Sutter through center. Left wing brings it in. Dropped it. Dewar. His shot blocked by Josh Anderson from the circle. Kara got the clear and ahead now for Beck Malenstein. Right wing silver tip zone. To the corner worked on by Christensen. Took it wide behind the cage. Centering toss. Estefan just slid wide. And a rebound picked up by Riley Sutter. To the blue line. Off of Pilon. Dewar collects. Floats one ahead. Broncos zone. At the left side. Dewar took a check. Draws two defenders in and trying to force it down. Lois now Pilon goes after Gennaro. Caro took it away far corner. Around to the left side. Anderson fell down. Gave it away Fontaine. Fed one across out of the reach of Pilon. And picked up by Estefan. It's clear. Tips get it right back. Fair brother ahead for Fontaine. Left wing. He's open. Drag shoots and just missed the net. Rebound to the right side. Ian Walker trying to feed it in behind for Fasco Rudis. 9.25 to go in period one. And the silver tips up 1-0. As Kara tied up by Fasco Rudis behind the net. Sissons got there, cleared it, and taken away by the tips as Ian Walker scoots it in. Off Kara's boot, he'll kick to center. Recovering is Bykov, and he'll toss it back in as Richards first off the bench. And now challenging Sissons, got the check against the backboards, and Kara to the far guards. Kept in Andre Valla, took the shot, knocked down. Loose puck out of the reach of Reese Fatelli. He takes out Kara. Recovering now, left side. Kendop drives the net just wide as that off the heel of his stick. And Swift Curran clears it back out of the silver tip line. 8.44 to go, and here come the tips again. Left wing Kendop and across the line, driving wide. And a backhander blocked by Sissons and deflecting to the near boards. Kept in Richards, rolling up high. Left circle, took the shot up high. Save made, rebound just wide by Vitelli. Now Richards right side again. Dropping for Pilon, but poked away. And Sissons clears it back to center for Swift Current. And we have 8.21 to go here in period one. Tips keep coming, though. The Broncos have only got it as far as center ice a couple of times. Left side, Pilon forcing it back in Swift Current zone. Nearby is Sutter. As Pilon controls and spins it into the corner, Sutter takes the puck and trying to defend against Sissons. Forcing one in deep, and now Dewar jumping in, trying to free it up out of the chaos. Eight minutes left in ticking. Loose puck, Dewar, sharp angle bid, save made. Sutter takes it behind the net, hangs on, sends it back, Dewar, dropping it, Pilon, takes it wide into the corner, now behind the net. Centering attempt is knocked down by Manulin. Swift Curran cleared one of the line, kept in by Walker. Off to the right side, Sutter for Pilon, driving wide, sharp angle bid, knocked away, kept in. Left side, Fairbrother threw one in front, save made, rebound loose and just jammed wide. Pilon now, right side, low to high. Ian Walker to the top for Fairbrother. Deflects it wide and out of the right corner. Pilon controls. Tips are buzzing again on this shift. They give it away. Sisson's got the clear. Down it goes. It will roll right off of Carter Hart, or so he thought. That's icing. And a whistle is 7.15 to go. Standing ovation time. The tips off to the ideal start. one nothing. The lead in game five as we step aside. And you're listening to Sound Transit. Everett Silver Tips playoff hockey on Fox Force 1380 at FM 95-3. Out of our first time out brought to you by another Castle Video Games. For the Silver Tips, so far, so good. 1-0 lead on Swift Current here in game five as Manulin drives it back down. Silver Tip zone and not enough for icing. Tips and Christensen through center. A feed up the left wing. Fasco Rudis angles it in. Matt Fontaine a bit shook up behind the play, but... Recovers on his skates and now stationed back at the left boards. In the meantime, chaos in the right corner for a loose puck. And the Broncos with possession. Malenstein clears it back down. Christensen back to collect and the icing call negated as he dodges one hit by Malenstein. Up the right side, the pass is taken away and Estefan rolls it into the corner. Knocked away by Wiley and the tips reset left side. 
Christensen turned away to Estefan inside the line. Bet a back in right corner and Malenstein going after Wiley. 6.23 to go here in period one. Tips on top, 1-0 on Swift Current. Shots edge at 7-5 and out of the scrum. It is chiseled away by Christensen, but there is a penalty coming up. Not on Christensen, but on Wyatt Wiley. And it'll be cross-checking here with Swift Curran getting their first man advantage of this evening. That's rough. That's a, that's a call there behind the silver tips net in a real tough battle for, for the puck. Wiley and Estefan, boy, that... That is uh, that's a tough one for the silver tips there. That is a on the puck action. We see that a lot go on. At least we have in this series battling for for position. The person that's on the inside of the wall normally expects that kind of abuse. Interesting to see if we see that continue uh, all all game long. Swift Curran gets their first man advantage of this evening. They are one of eight in the WHL Championship Series. Steenberg into the right point for Sissons to Steenberg in right circle. Dropping for Godden, cycling up high, and to Heponiemi, left point, who walks in. Up high for Godden, takes a shot, knocked away by Connor Dewar. Rebound for Steenbergen from the corner and fed it behind the net, but Davis taps it away. To the right side, Riley Sutter flushes this one all the way back down, and there's a minute and a half to go on the man advantage. Summer tips initially through uh, two th uh, three quarters of this first period winning a lot of battles on the boards and that's just terrific to see it shows it's evident that they really came to fight tonight uh, that they are ready to battle all night long tips go christensen fair brother by cobb and fontaine here in game five tips up one nothing hepo niemi carries in right side to the top for estefan returned it off the right boards and hepo niemi chiseling over steenbergen behind the net for estefan rim to the near side got in controls Set one cross ice. Steenbergen plays it off his skate to Hepo Niemi in the corner. Set one back up high. Got him to the left side. Sissons now walks in. Took the shot right into the chest of Carter Hart. And he hangs on now with 45 seconds left until Wyatt Wiley is out of the penalty box. Sissons has a pretty sharp and pretty tough to read shot from what I can see. He kind of he can kind of let it go when you don't expect it. It, it was evidence in the game for victory for them. And then right there, he kind of held it as though he was going to shoot. And then right when it seemed like maybe he might make a different decision and move it back up to the top of the blue line, he snapped it and let it go. Hart was ready, though, and swallowed it up. Sissons, Edmonton native, had the game-winning goal in game two. Five goals, 22 points in this postseason. And the Tips drive it back down with 33 seconds left now on the Wyatt Wiley penalty. Tips up 1-0. Manulin through center for Swift Current. Gennaro drops it. Steenbergen up high for Manulin. Left side out of the reach of Hepo Niemi. And now left corner. Controls the puck, drawing two defenders. And chisel back left side. Steenbergen to the line for Manulin. Left side for Hepo Niemi. Hangs on to it. Looking across the box. Sends it up high. Manulin left point. Cross ice got into the slot for Steenbergen and knocked away by Riley Sutter as the shot tumbles high in the air and out of play. And we have six seconds left on the silver tip penalty kill. That was really smart there. Sutter knew that that was not the best shooting angle because it was getting challenged from the silver tips penalty killers, the defenseman on the penalty kill. So he kind of hung out there knowing the pass was going to come to either Steenbergen or back to Hepo Niemi. Got his stick out there, got it active, and deflected the puck up into the net. Tips go Vala, Fontaine, Bykov, and Davis out there. They win the faceoff. Andre Vala drills this one down the lane. And that will do it. Tips are back to five skaters. We have 4.09 to go here in period one. The tips up 1-0 on Swift Current. Trying to force a series to go back to Saskatchewan. Tips control. Bykov cleared it. Swift current line and Kara gives it away. Fasco Rudis dropping it for Fontaine by one on net. Shoot, score! <laughs> Matt Fontaine gets his building rocket again. 3.53 to go in period one. The wrist shot from between the circles through the Bible. Well, Stewart Skinner. It's Fontaine's ninth. And the tips on top, 2 nothing. A great, terrific hustle for checking from Matt Fontaine. Created this whole thing. He's not going to get an assist on his own goal, but he's the one that started it with great aggressive play on Kara. Disrupted his outlet pass when he was the only one up there on the four check. 
kept the puck in the zone, went over, pursued, got the puck back, and then received the pass. And, you know, it's great to get a couple pass, Skinner, but that one even more so right through the Swift Current netminder. Probably one that he'd want back. It was it was a you know a clean break, but it was a puck that went right through his five hole. Tips dump it in back to the Swift Current net, and Skinner covers up this time, and we have 347 to go in period one. So the captain gets on the board. Matt Fontaine is ninth of postseason play. And Martin Fasco Rudis also picks up the assist as well. Along with Patrick Vykov. Face off and deep to the right of Skinner with 3.47 to go. Sutter and now Gennaro on the draw. Swift Curran got the puck and got the clear. Down the right side and Fairbrother collecting into the far corner. Tapped it up the boards and Dewar really is a center ice. Off of Sutter, back to Dewar. Swings it back in and the tips begin their change. Sissons for Swift Curran now rims it near side to center ice. Gennaro dumps it back to his own defense, and now Sissons blazing through center, picked away. Dewar in across the line, cuts toward the left side. Vitelli calling for it. Fed one down low, and now taken by Pilon. Goes cross ice to Wiley. Pass off the tape. Skipped into the right corner for Dewar, who's checked by Gennaro. Dewar trying to fight his way off the kick plate. Vitelli also jumping in to help. Back for Pilon, now set of the right circle. Hangs on and fed into the line for Wyatt Wiley. Wiley now hangs on, driving wide. Now right side, took the shot, save made. Rebound loose and behind the cage. And now Wiley checked by Estefan as a penalty coming up here, and it will be high sticking. I think Justin, they're pointing at Connor oh. Dewar here. So an offensive zone penalty, and that's a tough one to swallow. And with 2.45 to go here in the first period, Swift Current will go back to the man advantage. Boy, and because the Silver Tips have had no let up, they have been all over the Broncos in their own end. Great play again. Great couple of shifts following that go second goal. And then to have the high sticking call, I didn't see it, Mike, so I'm not going to comment on that one. So instead, the Tips will go to the second penalty kill this evening and try to keep the lead at two. In the first period where they have been razor sharp out of the gate. Vala, Fontaine, Bykov, and Davis on a face-off at the left circle and the tips control. Andre Vala sends this one back down. Skinner paddles it behind his zone net and left for Colby Sissons. Broncos now emerge to center ice. And Sissons dropping it now for Godden with zone entry. Speeds down the right wing, shuffles it. To the near side, and Steenbergen sent to the back for Sissons. Left corner, Hepo Niemi. Up high for Estefan, hangs on to it. Back pedals and sent one of the left point Sissons. At the circle, Hepo Niemi cross ice in front of Fletch and for Godden, who scores. Glenn Godden, a power play goal with 2.10 to go in period one as they move that puck swiftly across. And Giorgio Estefan found Godden parked at the front. On mark for his 13th on this season, and the Silver Tips lead is a one-goal game at 2-1. Well, that stings to give it back and give it back on the power play, but it was really well executed from the Broncos. It really, it started with the pass that kind of dissected everything, which was Hepo Niemi floating one right through the heart from circle to circle, and it landed right on the stick of Estefan, who fed it perfectly to Godden in front for a simple tap-in as you might like, but it certainly wasn't a simple play to set things up. Really intricate passing there from Hepo Niemi to Estefan back to Godden. So both these teams get just their second power play goal of this series here in period one, and it's a one goal gain right now with 2.10 to go in the first. Tips lead at shots at 9-7. And so it'll be Godden from Estefan and Hepo Niemi at 17.50. And that now forcing the building to try to amplify the volume level again. Skin will dump it in behind the Swift Current net. Skinner leaves it for King, but harassed by Richards. And to the near side, clear to center ice. Tips for gain, and Christian send to his own line, leaving it for Wiley, and now cutting off to his left. will bring it into the offensive zone and chips it in behind the net. 138 left as Wiley is down as he was chucked away from the play. 
And some fans wanting a penalty, nothing coming. Two on two break now. Right side, Elder wrist shot, save made by Carter Hart. And a rebound to the right side for Reese Fatelli. The captain now by the Broncos. Back Malenstein and now Kindop trying to clear the captain by Gennaro. Flip one of the slot, Christensen clears it. And back along through center is Richards. Right wing for Sutter, wrist shot, gobbled up by Stewart Skinner. And he hangs on now with 108 to go here in period one. This season for every home game victory, BECU proudly donates $100 to Housing Hope. BECU is a proud financial partner of Everett Silvertips Hockey. Uh, Wyatt Wiley there, a little shaken up as he, uh, a little bit of life injected into him here as that goal not just lifted the building and the team, but carried the puck in as he was feeling a little frisky and really got punished along the far side, hit a little bit upstairs. Might have caught an elbow up around the chin, but he was a little uh, slow to get to his skates, and that was almost what allowed the two-on-one situation there for Swift Current. Tips keep it in. Fair brother held up at the sideboards as God and had him in check. And now Sutter goes after Sissons behind the net. Manulin is center. Left wing feet out of the reach of Glenn Godden. And to the right corner, Fair brother is there, but taken away. Hepo Niemi. Laid behind the net. P. Lon controlling. Up the right for Fontaine. Angles to center. Carries it into the offensive zone and pass the right circle to the corner up against Sissons. He'll leave it doer to the blue line. Wiley. Across the ball, left side is wrist shot wide. And a rebound through traffic picked up. Wiley took the shot low. Kick save made Skinner as Matt Fontaine got his stick on that one. 2-1 silver tips with 20 seconds to go in the first. At the right side, Bicob to the back for Vala. His shot knocked down by Godden. And cleared high in the air. And that didn't touch a thing. And Glenn Godden, he knows what happened. Gloves and twig right to his knees, reacting. That's delay of game, and the tips are back to the man advantage here with 12.5 to go. Now he's had a pretty eventful first period, hasn't he? He was in the box early on the trip call. Uh, that sent him in there. He's got the only goal for the Swift Current Broncos coming on the power play, and now back to it as a defenseman. Uh, usually we see the culprits of those kind of mistakes, but here, center trying to pick it up, trying to pick the puck up and get it out of the zone safely. Just got too much elevation on it and cleared the glass. Not much time left here in the period, though, for the tips on the power play. Second man advantage with 12.5 to go here. And Sutter left circle won the face off into the blue line. Davis right side for Baikov, who shoots and blocked by Kara. And Pilon in behind for Sutter. Save made again. Rebound and a save by Skinner. Loose puck in behind is clear by Kara. That will do it as jostling happening right in front of the Bronco net. Tips out of the edge and shots at 13 to 8. That shot toward the Bronco net, I would say about as many exchange. And that one circumstance after the whistle as these two teams finally parted. And the silver tips out to the dressing room with a one goal advantage here in game five. And for the Broncos, Malenstein, Elder, Manulin, and Sissons on the penalty kill. And the Broncos win this face up and up and down. Left corner controlling is Malenstein. Wrap around bit as a save made by Carter Hart. Off the glove side back. Tips control as Davis for Bicob and a lead toss up the left wing too far of Fontaine and that goes the length for an icing call. And a whistle here 19 seconds into the second period. Uh, not maybe the best start to this second period for the Silver Tips who want to get control of the puck and uh, get their power play a chance to get set up and uh, of note here to start the period was that right at the end when we saw those battles in front of Skinner's net, Pilon is in the box right now for the Silver Tips, but there's a Bronco in there to match uh, as you're right to start the period. I think that might have been Gennaro. Uh, we can clean that up here for you in a second, but it was offsetting and Everett's still on the power play right now. Tips control and Davis up the right wing and Bykov returned it to Davis, streaking through center and chipped it off of Elder. Loose puck sitting for Matt Fontaine. At the left side, will drift one back, and Davis seizes the puck up high, and his wrist shot got through, but a save made by Skinner, and he hangs on now with 107 to go on the Silver Tip power play. Uh, that was good work there. Silver Tips uh, paid the price getting the puck in the zone, but uh, to win then a battle, Davis pursuing after he was knocked down, took the puck up, skated to the top, saw that he had a little bit of a shooting lane, and it wasn't the hardest shot ever. It was a little wrister, seeing eye wrister, and it did kind of get a little bit into the body of Skinner who had to really fight it off into the right arm and hold on to secure that rebound. Fontaine, Sutter, Bykov, Dewar, and Davis 
Tips control off the left circle, draw up by Davis, tees one up, and a glove saved by Skinner. And he hangs on now with 102 to play on the silver tip man advantage. All right, up the face off, a clean win for the tips, and Sutter, who won it, went right to the front of the net, had the stick out there. It was going pretty easily to Skinner's glove side, but that stick in a very dangerous position. If Sutter gets a little bit of piece of that, they're looking at a completely different result. Patrick Bykob leads the Silver Tips, eight power play points. Kevin Davis, Matt Fontaine tie for second with six. To the right of Skinner, Swift Current wins the faceoff, and Sissons gets to clear down the lane. Carter Hart paddles one aside behind his zone net for Davis. And now 19.01 to go here in the second, and 48 to go in the man advantage. Davis starts out of his own zone. Lee toss up the right wing. Bykov cross side. Fontaine dropped it for Dewar left wing and a shot just missed the net. Rebound to the right for Bykov. To Wiley at the blue line to Bykov. Right circle walking in. Centering. Dewar shoots. Knocked down. Loose puck left side. Fontaine to the top for Wiley. Off to Bykov. Right circle. Hangs on. Sends it back. Out of the wheelhouse of Wiley. Swings it left. Fontaine to the top. Wiley wrist shot. Knocked down. And over to the right corner for Bykov. Back up for Wiley. Return to the corner. Off by Cobb to Dewar. The assistance tangles him up. Dewar escaping and sends it across ice, and Fontaine plays it off the boards. Down to the corner, left side. Fontaine curls it back up high for Wiley. Left side, Fontaine. Up high to Wiley. Wrist shot knocked down. Loose puck right side. By Cobb across for Sutter. Nets open. Shoots it wide. Back to five aside as Glenn Godden gets the clear back down. And icing is coming up as we have 17.59. To go in the second period, a great look for the Silver Tips, Justin, to make it a two-goal game once again, but it looked like, unfortunately, Riley Sutter stick was tied up in front. It was, yeah. It was uh, a couple of guys leaning on their sticks, realizing that if Sutter could have got to it, it was probably going to be a goal into an empty net, as you said. It wouldn't have gone down as a power play goal, but it was with the man advantage because they were utilizing those three or four seconds before uh, Godden had come out of the box and was able to rejoin the play. We call those sometimes power play influence goals. And Tibbs certainly had it right there, but unfortunately a near miss. Sissons gets the clear, and we have 17.44 to go as the puck back in the Tibbs zone, and Vala sends it through center, knocked down by Sissons. Sitting loose, 50-50 puck, Tibbs control, left wing Reese Patelli. Hit across the line, battling God in left corner, and jumping in Richards against the backboards. Leaving Vitelli knocked away by Kara. To the near side, Kindop. Sent one to the back, and Vala shot missed the net. In behind, Richards wrap around. Save made by Skinner. Rebound of the far boards and Sissons. Up ahead for Hepo Niemi. Through center ice as Gostinberg into his left. Took the pass. Wrist shot missed the net. Rebound of the right side. And jumping in, Ben King hit by Richards. And we get a whistle here with 17.06 left here. In period two, and this faceoff will stay back in the tip zone. Yeah, I was mentioning, or we were mentioning, that the strong influence that we've seen from Fasco Rudis going up and joining Bykoff and Fontaine, but I like what I've seen here from the third line, too, which is now Richards and Vitelli uh, working together uh, along with Kindop and Vitelli carrying the puck in. Richards came up with a puck with that wraparound attempt. Boy, if that comes to the opposite side of the crease for the rebound, Vitelli is there for a chance, but the puck stayed on Richards' side, and Skinner was able to take care of his own rebound. Three minutes gone here, plus in the second period. Tips through center, have Riley Sutter dump one to the net, kick the side by Skinner. And now it's sent by Pilon to the back, Christensen for Davis right side and blocked by Malenstein. Sutter now cycling for Pilon, knocked away. Sutter gets it back at the right hash marks. Worked on by Anderson. Lewis Puck right corner. Dewar marks it free, sent one to the back. Now for Kevin Davis who rides the line. Left side feet, Christensen shoots, knocked down by traffic. And Dewar sends it back again. Davis' shot missed the net, pinballs in front, and just out of the reach of Riley Sutter. Broncos counter. Malenstein right wing, worked one behind the net. Knocked away by Kevin Davis. And the tips for gain is Connor Dewar now with 16-13 to go in the second, got the clear, and Sutter dumps it back in for the red line to bring a change. Bykov off the bench. Takes the puck into the right corner and being worked on by Sissons. Now dropping it for Fasco Rudis, but locked up between the circles. And a counterattack for Swift Current. Left wing fighting and across the line. Centering toss is broken up by Fontaine. Tips are back on the move. Fontaine's pass up the right side off Fasco Rudis as he and fighting colliding. 
Loose puck in behind the net taken by RTM Manulin as that scrum still going on here. Both players break free of it. Now down the middle is Elder and a slap shot miss the net. Loose puck now to the far corner. Tips control back in their own zone. Fairbrother, long cross ice toss. Bykov right wing weaving his way into the zone, but it's offside. And we get a whistle here with 15-25 to go in the second period. Uh, it's a tight offside call there. Tough to see as Bykov was bringing it into the zone. Fasco Rudis right in front of the play. Could see it clearly. It wasn't a blind one where he had to guess. He could see the puck enter the zone. Ref on the far side made the call. The linesman on the far side made the call over there. The crowd was already a little bit up in arms because Fasco Rudis was kind of tangled up with Fighton, as you said. Fighton had his arm pinched down, locked over the top of Fasco Rudis' stick, couldn't get away unless he let go of the stick. Frustrating there for the uh, first-year player for the Silver Tips. Back in the Silver Tips zone, Ian Walker dribbles it down. Icing call is waved off, and Kara to the far boards picked off. Fontaine across for Sutter, hangs on, shoots, blocked. And oh, too bad he had that rolling puck and was wide open. The first Swift Kerr and Steenbergen kept in a pie by Pilon. Left side for Dewar, hangs on, shoots, deflecting off of traffic. It's sent back Andre Bala. Returns it down low for Pilon. Worked on by Anderson. To the blue line, Davis. Cross ice for Bala. His shot knocked down by Kara. Anderson trying to clear. Good keep in by Pilon. Dewar right side. Knocked away by Anderson. Steenbergen got the clear. Left wing for Godin. He'll send it back in. Tips control out of their own zone. Bala. Feet up the right wing for Pilon and across the line. One minute ahead of the back for Dewar. Shot saved made by Stewart Skinner. As he turned away, Dewar's deflection behind the Swift Current defense. 14-21 to go. Broncos dump it back down. Christensen, left side for the Silver Tips. A pass miss firing from Sean Richards. That goes the length. Icing is the call. And again, a near miss for the Silver Tips. who will keep a 2-1 lead with 14-11 to go in the second period. That was a great example of why you want to try from, you know, any team, any hockey team, you want to try and get the puck deep because... Vitelli forced Godin to turn the puck over at the blue line, and instantly the Silver Tips fired it right back. It was a two-on-one with Swift Current trying to change up lines here in the second period, a long change, and they had it. Puck and Dewar arrived right at Skinner's end at the same time, got a good piece of it. Right circle, Sissons, wrist shot, missed the net. Tips control. Price Kindop lugs it through center. Looking right wing out of the reach of Sean Richards. Kindop pursues Sissons behind the net. Richards helping out as well against Manulin. Forcing one of the right corner. Richard still going at it with 13.48 to go. Kindop also jumping in. Richard's right side. Low to high pass. Ian Walker tees one up and knocked down by traffic. And clear back down by the Broncos' Cole Gable. Walker now back in his own zone. Lee toss up the right wing, missing Luke Ormsby. And that will go for an icing call on the tips, arguing that they had that deflection at center. But it's going to come all the way back in their own zone now with 13.31 to go in period two. Right right in front of that linesman. Uh, thought Ormsby did get a piece of that long stretch pass, but it was uh, not to be. We must have been uh, seeing or hearing things up here in the booth. Face off and deep to the right of Carter Hart. For the Silver Tip team who took out Seattle in five games first round, took out Portland in five games second round. Took out Tri-City for the Western Conference title. Loose puck now in front. Godin, score! On a feed from the blue line, and Glenn Godin finding a soft spot right in front of Carter Hart. He goes glove side, 13-23 to go in the second period. It's Godin's second of game five, and we're tied at two. They got to know your assignments on the face-offs. It's a big, important play, especially in your own zone, and... Right there off a, a face-off that was kind of just pushed up to the top. Seemed harmless enough, but as it was held up there and the Broncos waited, Godden went to the front of the net, and there wasn't a silver tip in sight. Uh, just a little bit of loss of what the assignments were, and all alone in front collected the puck, just waited out Carter Hart, who tried to sprawl and tried to do something there to prevent that goal, but... Pretty simple for God in there. I mean, a pinpoint feed by Colby Sissons. That's where credit is given on that, and he gets the assist at 637. So the Silver Tips have to keep battling. 2-2 tie here at 13.08 to go in the second period. 
And a loose puck at the right circle. Back in their own zone as Dewar taps it away to Andre Vala. Right side for Wiley. Up to the right for Pilon to center. And now looking for Sutter. Lost track of the puck. And Estefan will dump it back in. Blocker side corner of Carter Hart. 12.47 to go. And against the backboards, Wiley forcing one of the near corner. Flushes this one free and back for Pilon. He clears to center. Taken away by King and Swift Curran shoots it back in. Behind Carter Hart's net. Tips control and Wiley up the right wing for Pilon. Long lead toss. Knocked away by Steenbergen. Pilon brings it back in. Cuts right side. Drop pass. Vasco Rudis and a glove save by Skinner. And he hangs on with 12.24 to go in period two. Oh, that was a good response from Everett. It was looking a little bit kind of stuck in their own end. Uh, tough to get the puck out and pass center ice for a little over a minute there. But they finally do, and they do it fast. And in a flurry, up the ice they come. Great leave there from Pilon, whose first pass didn't connect, but he picked it up with a full head of steam and left a nice little leave pass for Fasco Rodas, who snapped a good clean shot, but saved by Skinner's glove. Offensive zone face off for the Silver Tips. Fontaine wins it right side and back for Davis. Dropping it for Baikov up high. Hangs on. Low wrist shot. Knocked down. Loose puck right to Artia Manulin. And Hepo Niemi trying to freelance for space with 12-10 to go in the second period. Tips have Fasco, Rudis, Baikov, and Fontaine up front. With Fairbrother and Davis back defensively as now Swift Current knocks it back in. Hepo Niemi and Fairbrother into the right corner and spun on the far boards by the Silver Tips. And now Fasco, Rudis controls. To center ice. Left wing feed. Fontaine and across the line. Drives the net. Took the shot. Save. Rebound. Fasco Rudis. And a save made by Skinner again. 11.49 to go in the second period. Fasco Rudis this time denied by the left pad. And we stay tied 2 2. Boy, good job by the Silver Tips crashing the net. Fontaine with a full head of steam as well. Coming in. He has really shown some wheels here tonight. He's been very lively. Taking it hard to Skinner's net. Initial save there. Rebound was there for Fasco Rudis. He did get a good piece of it, but just couldn't get it past Skinner, who, as we said, big guy in net. Tough to get it through. Bryce Kindop, Reese Patelli, and Sean Richards up front now with a face-off at the left circle. Christensen and Wiley back on defense. The Swift Current wins it. Anderson of the far boards rims it out. Back into the tip zone. Not enough for icing. About to play is Jake Christensen. From behind the net, looking up the right side for Kindop. He'll chip to center. Richards pursues around Anderson. Last layer, Kara took it away. Swift Kerr in zone. Anderson back on the breakout with Kara miles behind him. Anderson dumps it back in behind the silver tip net. And taken now by the silver tips, Wyatt Wiley. 11-17 to go. Left wing Richards and a head for center. Vitelli to the right wing. Kind up and across the line. Wrist shot missed the net. Rebound left side. Richards over skates and a two-on-two -two counter for Swift Current. Right side Elder will dump it in. Out of gas on this shift. And the tips collect behind their own net. Christensen up the right side looking for Vitelli. The Swift Current forces one back down and a sharp angle bid. Gennaro missed the net. Manuel in the Estefan right circle and tried the toe drag but knocked away. Recovering Gennaro. Up high and a low shot. Sent wide and out of the trapezoid. Tips poke it free. Off to the left side, Connor Dewar with 10.35 to go. Tips free it back and Wiley up the left side. Dewar got the clear. All the way to the Broncos zone it goes. Tips now seek their change as they get Sutter out alongside Fairbrother and Davis back on defense. And Sissons tries a long outlet from his own Broncos zone. That's an icing call. And we have 10.20 to go in period two. Game five, all tied to two. Now the linesman uh, at least uh, keeping it even sticklers for the deflections. They uh, got to see it, got to make it happen. They called Everett earlier. I thought maybe the Broncos got a piece of that one as it went by, but uh, they viewed that it did not stay up on the dasher, and icing call sets up an opportunity here for the tips and Swift Current's end. Pilon, Sutter, and Dewar up front. Right circle draw. It is controlled by the Broncos. Manuelen got the clear to center, and recovering is Kevin Davis. Right side for Sutter. Cross ice, Pilon, and across the line. Got by one, drove the net, and chopped away by Colby Sissons last second. 10.02 to go. Sissons skates to center. Ahead now left side, Gennaro in across the line and try the drop pass. Neutralized by Davis. Steenbergen, though, left corner. Around to the right side, and Sutter jumping in. Flushed it up the boards to center ice. 
And Dewar ahead, but chopped away by Manulin. who will fire it back down for an icing call and will step aside. 9.41 to go in the second. Game five, and we're tied at two. You're listening to Sound Transit, Everett Silver Tips Playoff Hockey on Fox Sports 1380 and FM 95.3. Tips and Swift Curran tied at two. For the Silver Tips, one each by Wiley and Fontaine. God and Scott both for Swift Curran this evening. Face off left circle. Broncos win it. Out of their own zone. They dump it down. Courtesy Beck Malenstein. No icing call as now Fairbrother escaping Gennaro. Up the right side, Fontaine jams it off the boards. Kept in from the line by Anderson. Loose puck to Malenstein, forcing his way right side and dropped it back out of the reach of Estefan. Vasco Rudis chopped that one away. Tips regain in Fairbrother off for Davis. Right side by Cuff. Exit feed to center. Fairbrother relays it. Left wing. Vasco Rudis in across the line. Dropped it left side. Fontaine. Snapshot missed the net. Rebound kept in by Wiley from the line. Cross ice to Fairbrother. Hangs on. Slips it down low. Bykov nice feed up high. Cutting right. Wiley took the shot. Knocked down. Rebound in front. And kept in. Left side Vala. Jams it off Gennaro. Fatelli sends it back. Fala low shot wide. Lewis Puck Fasco Rudis. Chopped it over left side of Vitelli. Forcing it down low. Gennaro. Up the boards for Estefan. To center ice. Long toss back Malenstein. Into the offensive zone. Lewis Puck in front now. Malenstein recovered and a save made by Carter Hart. 8.28 to go in the second period. As Hart using the pads. Denying Beck Malenstein, who picked up a loose puck, getting right past one layer of defense. And Carter Hart keeps it a 2-2 game. Uh, Carter Hart read that puck really well, stayed with it really well, because it was a tough puck to track. Wiley looked to be in good position, and I'd say he did a pretty good job as Malenstein tried to go through him on a, you know, tried to stick him out right through him. It went off. Wiley's leg, then back off of Malenstein's leg, right back down to his tape. What could you do there? But Hart saved the day. Manuel in centering toss. Sisson save made by Carter Hart. Rebound to the left side, and Steenbergen locked up by the active stick of Riley Sutter. Connor Dewar lopping this one to center ice. Tips control. Sutter gallops into the offensive zone, but it's offside with Garrett Pilon here, and we have 8-12 to go here in period two. The Silver Tips thank B2B partners, including 360 Hotel Group, At Large Brewing, CMB Painting, Electronic Business Machines, and Emerald City Solutions. See their offers and sun up your business at everettsilvertips.com slash B2B. Now halfway through this one tonight, Mike, I think the Silver Tips are doing a much better job getting shots all the way through, at least in towards the blue paint area. A much better job. Almost everything was blocked on Wednesday night. Tonight, they've had some chances off some rebounds. Eponiemi's shot blocked. Puck kept in. Got in left side. But jammed away by Riley Sutter. Tips through center. Abdur left wing and across the line. Shoots this one wide of the net, but that caught a piece of Manulin. Now to play it goes now with the second period down to 7.52 remaining. We're tied at two. No silver tips there. Good job finally coming up with sort of a bouncing bug. Everybody was over skating and trying to trying to get something going in a positive direction. Uh, silver tips and Broncos both guilty, but eventually coming up with the puck and a little three on two there. That might have been developing, but it uh, went for not as the first initial pass upon entering the zone deflected up out of play. Tips at by Kopp, Fontaine and Fasco Rudis up front. On this left circle faceoff, one of the Broncos and Kara clears it. Right side for Elder. Up against Jay Christensen, forcing it into the corner. And Davis took the hit. Lewis Puck jammed in front now by fighting, but knocked away. And Davis up the left side to Savon Kara, but to Nagel, and I think offside is the call coming up here. Bigger pardon, hand pass upon further review, and we have 7.33 to go. In the second, and tied at two here in game five. Ranked as one of America's top 50 public courses to play by Golf Digest, Kayak Point is the official golf course of your Everett Silver Tips. More info, and also for more on the Mitch Love Charity Golf Tournament July 13th, check out golfkayak.com. That was a, a puck that was sort of bouncing and very troublesome for any defenseman holding their ground at the blue line, and Kara, wanting to be extra safe, just decided I'm batting this one out of midair and in the offensive zone. That's a uh, no-no once... It's touched there once it's played by one of your teammates. Broncos shot one in. Tips have Kindop, Patelli, and Richards up front. They clear to center. 
7.20 left. Another hand pass called as that was knocked down by the glove of the Broncos, Tanner Nagel. So a 2-2 tie. Tips have the edge in shots right now at 21 to 12. And as of right now, trying to compartmentalize this game again, shift by shift. Yeah, just the one lapse here so far is what has hurt him in this, this second period. Uh, we saw as the first period wore on a little bit, the Silver Tips started to warm a little bit and uh, start to get the play down in the Broncos' end. And they've stayed out of the penalty box here in this period, but yet to get really aggressive on the Broncos back in their zone. Tips control from their own line. Wiley up the right, and Bykov drips it in, and Kara blew a tire. Pasco Rudison from backhander. Save Fontaine rebound, and just missed the puck. To center ice is Estefan. He'll dump it back in with now inside seven minutes left here in period two. Christensen behind the net. Shakes free of Estefan and leaves it up the left side, and Fasco Rudis clears it back toward the Bronco zone. Ben King recovering, Winnipeg native. Lee Tosser's center broken up by Sutter, given back. Estefan in the slot, hangs on, took the shot, knocked down by traffic. And Sutter ahead for Dewar in the tips. Working three on two if they hustle. Dewar right side and across the line. Low wrist shot missing it. And a rebound on the left side is kept in by Vola, who teed one up and too high. Puck ricochets the center, and Gennaro will throw it back in. With 6.15 to go, it's icing, and a faceoff will come back into the Broncos zone. Again, game five is all tied at two apiece. Lazy Boy Brewing in Everett is proud to recognize local active and retired military personnel saluted at every Friday and Saturday tips home game all throughout this season. For more, check out for military honoree of the night at EverettSilverTips.com. Oh, that was more like it for the Silver Tips. Great block shot leading instantly to a three on two that Dewar did really well to cut to the middle and get the shot away. If the rebound comes there, there's opportunities for Everett, but it was paddled to the side pretty swiftly there from Stuart Skinner. From the right circle, draw Sissons will fire it through center off of Steenbergen. All the way down, tip zone, no icing, and Andre Valla trying to play for Kevin Davis, but sitting loose, Steenbergen walking out, sent one low, save made Carter Hart, and a rebound just slides wide. Andre Valla to the far boards, offers Sutter, kept in by Steenbergen, and Hart will let it go now for Kevin Davis. 5.41 to play here in the second. Valla up the left side for Dewar. To the right wing, Sutter into the offensive zone. Driving wide, took the shot, hit the outside of the net. And sitting loose against the backboard, Sutter is there. To the near corner. Sutter trying to fight off RTM Manulin. Bouncing one back. Steenbergen will skate it out. The dumping brings a change for both teams, and Carter Hart will let it go behind his own net. 5.13 to go here in the second. 2-2 tie here in game five. Fairbrother breezing in left wing. Broncos zone, sharp angle bid. Save made by Skinner as that rode up the paraphernalia. And Skinner lets it drop. He'll cover here with a glove. And we have 5.04 to go here in period two. Well, it's smart, smart play. Fairbrother, who, you know, portions, missed portions of the, this middle to later half of the season. You know, we're starting to remind ourselves what we like so much about this young defenseman who possesses a good shot. Great skating ability he showed there to move through the neutral zone. Didn't bother to dump it in and chase. Just figured he's going to make somebody come take the puck off him. Carried it all the way down below the faceoff circle. Tight angle shot, but he did get it right on. And you know, maybe a chance for a rebound before Skinner covered up. Left circle faceoff. Swift current zone. Tips go Kindop, Patelli, and Richards up front. And Giorgio Estefan on this faceoff here for Swift Current. 2-2 two, two tie in game five. Tips trail in the series, three games to one. Must win to stay alive. And taken away now by Bryce Kindop off the turnover. And out of the right corner, battling Mateo Gennaro. If the Tips win, they're going to Swift Current. Game six will be Sunday. Broncos control Gennaro out of his own zone. Left wing feet. Malenstein in across the line. Rink wide toss. Estefan dropped it back. Got two Q tips taken away. Kindop ahead for Sean Richards. In across the line, right wing. Skates in. Now to the slot. Shoots. Save made by Skinner. Rebound clear. Back out by the Broncos. And we have 427 to go. To the tip zone, Fontaine. Now breezing his way through. In across the line. Down the middle. Drop for Richards. Over skates. Beck Malenstein clears the back out. Wyatt Wiley back to collect. Scored the first goal of this game. 
Lead toss right wing for Bykov and jammed away by Steenbergen. 4.05 to go. Bykov resetting for Wiley back in his own zone to the left side, Christensen. Cross ice toss for Bykov. Maneuvering through. Left side to Fasco Rudis with zone entry. Wrist shot, blocker save Skinner. Rebound to the right corner, and Bykov sends it back. Davis one-timer wide. Rebound Fasco Rudis. And battling behind the net, Fontaine sends it in front to Bykov and jammed away by Steenbergen. Now right side, penalty coming up, and with 3.39 to go. They will take a silver tip, I believe, as that loose puck battle at the right circle involved Bykov, and he will be the only guy to take a seat here in a 2-2 game. Yeah, second time tonight, a silver tip's going to go for a cross check on a player playing the puck. And two hands on the stick into the... Back Steenberg and went down. You know, it went down in a heap, but that was probably because he was up in the air off the ice. That's a lot tougher to control your body. And the shove by Bykoff probably looked worse than it really was. So the Broncos on their third power play of this game five. And this is a pretty big moment, obviously. In a 2 2 game. The shots are 25-13, Silver Tips. And Swift Current controls. Glenn Godden has got two goals, dropping it for Sissons at the left circle. But a pass back is turned away by Connor Dewar. Tips have two shorthanded goals in these playoffs. He brings it in, cutting left side, but didn't have a serious shooting lane, so takes a smart route and sends it back into his own zone. Kevin Davis, plenty of space to burn some clock. Up for Vala. Left side for Dewar. And the Tips now essentially playing keep away. Davis will fire it back down. Behind the Bronco net. Skinner lets it go for Colby Sissons. Tips have Davis, Falla, and Sutter awaiting at center. Dewar jumping up a little bit, and Sissons forced to dump it in from the red line. And out of the right side for Sutter. Rim behind the net. And now Valla going after Steen Bergen. With 2.50 to go, and a loose puck now to the far corner. Sutter jumping in. Freed it up. Kevin Davis got the clear and down it goes. It's been a great start. Opening minute of the penalty kill. Keep away, as you said. 30 seconds killed off. Then win a battle back in your own zone. And again, win, come up with the puck. Smartly get it off the glass and pass the point man down the ice. Broncos skated in. Left side, Hepo Niemi. Up high for Steenbergen. Down low for Godden. Across for Estefan and over his stick as it was off the mark. And clear back down by the silver tips. Jake Christensen with 38 to go on the man advantage. He and Pilon really kept their cool about them as they went to pursue the puck. They didn't just try and slap it down. Made sure they got control of it. Sisson stretch pass. Almost had Hepo Niemi for a breakaway, but it slides wide. Out of the right corner, Christensen frees it up. Fontaine behind the net. And now being worked on by Godden. Deflection over near side. Garrett Pilon open lane down the middle. Got this one cleared. And Bykov is out of the box. In 10 seconds, Tips get Davis, Sutter, Dewar, and Fairbrother on the ice. Anderson's head man toss to Gennaro, left wing into the offensive zone. Drop for Malenstein, knocked away by Dewar. Play to five aside. At the line, Anderson in front, save made. Rebound, jammed away by Kevin Davis. 1.31 to go in the second. The 2-2 game, Tips has some momentum. By Cobb, breakaway pass, looking Dewar, jammed away by Manulin. Counterattack, Malenstein down the right wing, takes it wide of the target, behind the net. Now to the left side, protecting against Fairbrother. Malenstein chipped away by Fairbrother. Tips control at center. Dewar to Bykov, and across the line, left side for Dewar, on that back inner save, rebound, Bykov over skates it. How closer can the tips get? Gennaro back to center ice with less than a minute left. Left wing is wrist shot, knocked away by Hart off the right pad. Rebound to the silver tips. Fontaine Davala leads it up the left out of the reach. Fasco Rudis and back to Kara. Lead toss right wing. Glenn Godden fed one across out of the reach of Steenbergen. Tips are back on the move. Right side. Pilon and across the line. Driving wide of the net. Save made. Rebound loose. Fontaine and just knocked away. 33 seconds left. High octane hockey. Back and forth as Swift Curran clears. Wiley now stationed back in his own zone. To the left wing, Vala with 23 seconds left. They'll shoot one in toward the net. Blockers saved by Skinner. Rebound to the near corner, and Kara over for Sissons. Got the clear. Back to neutral. 14 seconds left now. Awaits on the clock. 2-2 game here in game five. Christensen tosses back in. 
Missing Garrett Pilon. It goes for icing, and there's 5.9 to go here in the second period. Well, uh, yeah, the action at both ends. Back and forth we go. Both goalies coming up with some big saves. Both defenses getting to the puck first to prevent other opportunities. You like the idea from Christensen there to try and keep the play going and get it up ice, but you didn't want to ice the puck and now have to withstand one last faceoff and potential barrage here from the Broncos with less than six seconds to go. So big one here with, between Sutter and Estefan. Right circle, tips, line up three in the slot. Trying to defend Manulin and Malenstein. And off the draw, it is tied up at the dot, sent back for Sissons and rolling it behind the net. Harmless play, that will do it. And the second period comes to a close. The Tips had to expect some pushback, and Swift Curran delivers it. They get the last two goals here. One late in the first period to draw within one. And Glenn got in the only goal of period two, his second of this game five to tie it up. And the Silver Tips trying to hit the reset button as it's been said all season long. 20 minutes left here in regulation, and we are tied at two in game five. The swan song for hockey here in downtown Everett of this season. The tips are trying to, though, force a tomorrow and win this one to force game six back in Swift Current Sunday. Their period's underway. The Broncos shoot it in. The tips go left to right, collecting, and now Davis up the right side for Garrett Pilon. Through center for Riley Sutter. Cuss toward the left, dumps it in behind the Bronco net. Loose puck now for Sissons. Given away to Pilon into the right corner and checked by Steenbergen. Forcing it behind the net. Sutter helping out, but the Broncos take it back, and Steenbergen golfs this one to center. And we have 19.24 to go. Tips changed up with fans rallying behind the glass. Bronco long toss. Goes all the way from Martia Manulin down the length. It's icing, and we have 19-13 to go in period three. This is not an often situation for these two teams in the WHL playoffs. Only the third time the tips have been tied after two periods. 0-1 and 1. Just the second time for Swift Current, they're 0-1. All right, that's interesting. Yeah, see that uh, very tightly contested third. Here's Fasco Rudis from the slot and just bouncing one wide. And a rebound on the right side, but Wiley overshoots it. And back for a foot race up Oniemi. Angle by Wiley just wide of the net. Jay Christensen jumping in. Moments after, a great work there by Wiley to recover and take the puck away from an obviously threatening presence offensively. And Alexi Hep Oniemi. Tips break back in, right side. Martin Fasco Rudis to the right circle, centering attempt. Off the boot of Matt Fontaine. So of current counter attack now. Down the right side, Beck Malenstein got on by Andre Valla toward the front of the net. Loose puck jammed away as the tips collapsing down low, and that caught a piece of Kevin Davis. 18-26 left in period three, and Andre Valla shoveling one to center. Anderson to Kara right wing. From the blue line, shoots it wide. Rebound to the right side. Gendop frees up for his own defense. Tips break out. Davis ahead for Vitelli. Left wing racing into the offensive zone, driving wide of the Bronco net. Hangs onto his back end, low to high pass Davis. Cross ice to Fairbrother, shoots one of the net wide, rebound loose, bouncing in front, and just knocked away from Sean Richards. Counterattack now left side for the Broncos as Caden Elder couldn't handle. And the tips reset back in their own zone with 17.45 to go here in period three. Pilon dropping it for Ian Walker. Back to Pilon, left side, stripped away by Elder. Gianni Fairbrother, shoulder on shoulder check, knocked that puck free. Now behind the tips net, Walker, left side, missing Fairbrother. Steenbergen racing in. Manulin bouncing one of the right circle. Knocked away again by the Silver Tips, who can reset now with 17 20 left here in the third. Dewar long toss to Pilon at center. Cutting right side, Broncos zone. Chip went around Sissons toward the right corner. Dewar streaking in. Lewis Puck now knocked away by Steenbergen. Kept in by Wiley from the right side, but cleared back out by Glenn Godden. From center, Red Christensen. Flipping one left boards, turned away. Godden dumps it back in. The Broncos change up. 
And for the tips, Wyatt Wiley behind his zone net. Right side feed by Cobb. Spins it rink wide at center. Left wing Christensen into the offensive zone. Knocked away. Estefan got the clear. Silver tip zone again. Shots are 29-16. Tips up front. Boys in green. Hanging in there this evening. Looking to tap into more fortitude here tonight in a 2-2 tie in game five. Gennaro takes it away. Centering and a shot. Estefan hit the goal post. That hit glove side corner on Carter Hart. Tips counter. Right wing by Cobb into the offensive zone. Now to the slot. Cuts left side to his backhand. Hangs on and off the boards. By Cobb drifts into the blue line. Vala teed one up and knocked down by Estefan. They'll chip one ahead. Right side Malenstein. In across the line. Rolled one of the net. Knocked down by the silver tips. And Vala clears this one back out. Wow, that was a huge break for the silver tips as the costly turnover in their own end but saved by the crossbar there 2-2 two, two game third period tips down three games to one trying to chip away as Sean Richards sends it back in Broncos zone taken away Sisson's up forgotten deflected back Bronco end RTM Manula now up the right side as the fan drips it back and rather ask Max Patterson beg your pardon Carter Hart now pitching one of the far boards tips control and Richards Forcing it up the wall. is turned away now. Richards regains. Left wing brings it into the offensive zone. Took the shot. He scores! Sean Richards. 15-12 to go third period. Scoring one of the biggest goals of his life. His fourth of postseason play. And the silver tips from off the rush. Lead game five is 3-2. Well, what a shot from Sean Richards, first of all. But how about the effort from a guy that gets taken off the top line with Vykov and Fontaine? Some could see it as a demotion, but he has played his heart out here tonight, has been aggressive, has brought a lot to that third line, and just snapped the shot right through Kara, who got down to try and block it. I don't think Skinner saw much of it, and it went right through him and into the back of the net. Four minutes and 48 seconds, the time of the goal. And Richards picking up his fourth of postseason play. That gets this building rocking again. And not just for Richards, but for the entire Silver Tip team. Pats on the back saying, we got one there. Keep it going. Swift Current works it back in behind the net. Fairbrother for the right side by Kong. Kept in, fighting through it behind the net. And now Fairbrother returns it right boards. Fighting the check. Ties the puck up. 14.51 to go. It rolls free. Tips control and Fairbrother. Scoots it left. Glass is center. For the Broncos, Kara up the right side. Fighting will jam it back in, taken away. And 14.38 to go. Fairbrother lead toss is picked off, and Kara right side brings it back into the circle. Looking in front, Heponi Emmy, and a save made by Carter Hart off the left pad. That's the biggest save as ever here in this game. Denying Alexi Heponi Emmy. 14.21 to go, third period. Tips lead again at 3 2. Fairbrother to the far boards. Sisson steps up, kept the puck in. And out of the right corner, taken away. Bykov trying to free it for Kevin Davis. 14.07 left. Now to the right side, Fairbrother. Off now for Davis. Long lead toss up the left. Dewar banks the back in. Tips get a full change here with 13.55 to go. Is now Dewar, a centering toss here. Sutter, score! The Silver Tips go back to back. A feed by Dewar, a pie to Riley Sutter. The snap shot for his ninth of postseason play. It's 4 2 Silver Tips. Almost shocking to see that type of turnover. I you know, really admired the way Swift Current is a you know, very aggressive team, but very disciplined in their own end. And this was a gift given to Sutter, but he had to 
take advantage. He had to do a little bit of work on his own. Beating Skinner has not proven easy during this playoff series, and Sutter at the top of the circles just blistered one. It was in and out of the net in a heartbeat. They're taking an extra look at it to make sure, but that was labeled high, and it was in. The Silver Tips get a pair of goals in less than 90 seconds to blow it back open to a two-goal advantage. They go back to work again. Pilon left corner worked on by Josh Anderson. It rolls down to the left side for Dewar. 13.33 to go, third period. Dewar down low, left corner. Pilon up high for Sutter, and a kick save made Skinner. Rebound behind the net, Mateo Gennaro. Up for Estefan and cleared. Stall back at the red line. Christensen shoots it in. Reese Vitelli off the bench and challenging Anderson to the right boards. 13-14 to go. The Silver Tips on top 4-2 here now in game five, third period. Trying to force this thing back to swift current. 13.05 left, third period. To center is King up the right for Estefan. Dumps it back in. And for the Silver Tips, Carter Hart jams it near side. Malestine took it away. In behind to Gennaro. Left circle walking out. And back into the corner, Estefan. Worked on by Wyatt Wiley. Cycling for Gennaro. Vitelli jumping in to knock it free. 12.41 to go. On a puck sent back, Malenstein. Teed one up, wide of the net. Rebound to the far boards, Richards clears. Ahead for Bryce, Kindop, two on two. Left wing, Kindop to the net, backhander just wide. Rebound to the right boards, and Richards. Had it taken away, Swift Curran clears. Estefan ahead for Glenn Godden. He's got two this evening. And the tips have got to keep a close hip on him for this third period. 12.15 to go. Godden lost his edge at center. Steenbergen bats it back in. Wide of the net. Swift Curran changes up. And then for the silver tips, Vala up the right. And now Davis for Bicot. Lee Toss Fontaine with speed down the right into the offensive zone. Drives the net. And chipped away with the long reach of Anderson. Kept in for the line, Davis fires, and a save made by Skinner. And he hangs on with 11.52 to go here in period three. Sean Richards and Riley Sutter back-to-back -back unassisted goals. 4.48 and 6.09 to make it 4-2. Uh, great effort from the Silver Tips here and great energy. This building was waiting to get going, and the Silver Tips have given them a reason. Strong, strong start. I love the fact that they came out aggressive, Mike. Didn't sit back, didn't want to absorb pressure and, you know, play a really tight third period. They went for it right out of the gate, and it paid off with those two goals. Crowd of 6,628 getting loud here in this third period, and the tip so far delivering in crunch time. Lead toss by Davis, right side to Fontaine, drifted in deep, and now Fasco Ruder took a check into the corner. By Saban Kara, some fans thought it was suspect, but we play on here with 11.31 to go in the third. Now a delayed penalty coming up. Left side, Elder touches up, and the tips will go to the power play, it looks like. Andre Valla also shook up behind the net. And it will be Andrew fighting the ex-Silver tip draft pick here to take a seat with 11.25 to go in period three. Well, that was a little wild and out of control there. Andrew fighting. Coming out and going upstairs, giving Kevin Davis a shot right to the mouth, and then he launched himself at Vala, who was playing the puck behind the net, trying to go after as many Silver Tips defensemen as he could in sort of wild, out of control form, and uh, deservedly taking a seat in the penalty box for two minutes. Pilon, Sutter, and Dewar up front. The Tips are trying to open it up now. On power play number three. Christensen and Wiley out there. As the point men tips when the face off, Dura sends it back. Christensen to the left point for Wiley. Tips up 4 2. Left circle, P. Lawn is snapshot save, rebound, glove save by Skinner as he denies Riley Sutter on the doorstep. And now 10 seconds gone off the clock here on the Silver Tip Man advantage. You know, even though that, that didn't result in a goal, Mike, it's something that we didn't see a lot of in game three, and that's a shot. Making it through. I know it's a power play. I know it's a little easier, but it's a shot getting through, and it's a silver tip on the doorstep for a rebound opportunity. It was tough to do either one of those things back in game four. Tips win the left circle face off, but it rolls all the way back into their own zone. And so Christensen will leave for Wiley. 
Lead feed at center. Pilon galloping down the right end of the offensive zone and takes it wide. Behind the net, knocked away. Malenstein and clear back down now by the Broncos. All the way to the tips net, and Carter Hart paddles it away for Wyatt Wiley. 124 to go on the silver tip, man advantage. They lead 4-2 as now Wiley trying to peel away from Elder. Leaves for Bykoff. Up the left wing, missing Kevin Davis. It's smacked back in deep by Kara. And Carter Hart now will leave it for Bykoff. 105 to go on the power play. Davis ahead for Bykoff. Through center ice. Looking left side, Richards will chip it in. Taken away again. Kara got the clear. Down it goes. 54 to go on the power play now. First pass just hasn't been there right now for the Silver Tips. Swift Currents penalty kill. Maybe a little more aggressive than they're used to. Broncos might be changing it up a little bit because of the situation in this game, but they've taken away that first pass for the Silver Tips. They need to adjust. Bykov now for Fontaine. Bust into the offensive zone. Right wing for Kindop. Pulls up at the hash mark. Sends it back. Right point for Davis. Across to Bykov. Goes rink wide. Fontaine. Top of the right circle. Back to Bykov with the point. Left side for Davis and a one-timer. Glove say by Skinner. He hangs on as we have 21 seconds left on power play time. And 9.46 to go on period three. The tips on top 4-2. Yeah, not bad movement there from the Silver Tips. I like the orchestration. Bykov, center point, moving it around. Davis over the far side. Let the one-timer go in the top of the left circle. Flo was kind of moving to the right. He fired it back across the body of Skinner, but the glove was out, and the Swift Current netminder had it. Face off left circle. Controlled by the Broncos, and Manulin sends it back down. And out of the box here is Fighting in 12 seconds. Hart spins it to the near side for Dewar. And resetting for Wiley. And as the Silver Tips will go now one for three on the power play, but up for two. Dewar to the right wing, Pilon Broncos zone, forcing it wide into the corner, taking away Sissons. Up for Godden, gave it away. Sutter lost the handle. Back comes Fighting left wing. 9.16 to go to the front of the cage, and a save made by Carter Hart. He closed the five hole and a rebound shuffled near side and kept in by Godden. He sends it wide behind the net and Fala. Up along for Richards, jams off glass. Got the clear, Bronco blue line. 8.58 to go in period three. Godden dumps it back in, that caught a deflection. Up and out it goes. And we step aside. See hockey's future in downtown Everett now and place a deposit for tip season tickets for 2018-19 with priority seating. VIP events and WHL Live free. $50 for deposits at EverettSilverTips.com slash Ticket Central. Back to action, 8.40 left. Tips get the clear out of their own zone, and Manulin from center red dumps it back in. Find the silver tip net as now Hart lets it go for Davis. Up the right boards for Pilon, but kept in by Sissons, and the tips reroute it to the far boards. And Steenbergen sends it down low. Eponiemi walking out of the right side. Circling up high. Dropping it for Godden. Gets around a screen to the left. Hangs on to it. Driving wide. Sets up Pepo Niemi and his shot wide. Out of the right corner, Steenbergen cycling Godden. Davis jams it free. Kept to lie by Godden at the set of the right circle. Into the corner, spins off the backhand. Set one across. Knocked away by Pilon. And kept in again by Steenbergen. Strong shift here for Swift Curran. Tip so finally. Take it back. Here at Pilon, shovels at the center ice, and Dewar dumps it down. Great job by Dewar to get it down on the ice with his glove quickly and get it down the ice because the tips needed a full change and didn't want to turn one over there. Swift Current maybe got away a little bit running the pick and roll offense right there, but no call here with the two goal lead for Everett. 7.31 to go. Here in the third, the tips work it in. Left side, Fontaine poked away by Manulin, angle to center ice. And up ahead now, Estefan from the right side, and a wrist shot miss the net. Kept in, Anderson fires. Kick save Carter Hart, and a rebound off to the right side, and Malenstein for Gennaro. Into the corner and takes it behind the net. Gennaro sends it in front for King, and he scores. Noah King, his first of postseason play. With 7.09 to go in period three, converting off the feet from behind the net. And the Silver Tips lead is back to a single goal. It's 4-3. Well, a couple of things that hadn't happened in a while here was that Silver Tips 
let the Broncos shake free behind their own net. A pretty shifty move back there uh, behind the net. Tough to keep track of. And a very quick pass from King, as you said, not really known as a goal scoring touch, but he did so perfectly there, sensed an opening, sensed an opportunity to come down, and he did so, and he delivered with a goal. So King from Gennaro at 12.51. Wyatt Wiley will shoot it back in and played now by Skinner to the near side. And Colby Sissons ahead to Hepo Niemi. Cross eye Steenbergen, right wing with zone entry, dropped it back and a shot by God and save made by Carter Hart. Rebound just sent wide. Swift current threatening again. Glenn Godden, two goals on his stick. Tips maintain the lead. Pilon forcing his way to center. Steenbergen shoots it back in. And Jake Christensen back to play with 6.34 to go. Right side for Wiley, up for Reese Vitelli. Hard pressing is Gennaro. Vitelli forced to center ice, and Gennaro off to the right side for Hepo Niemi. Drilled toward the top, into the corner, Gennaro against Vitelli. Takes it wide into the right corner again. Malestine off the best, a centering toss, and his shot missing it. Also blocked into the slot, and now Wiley up the right for Kindop. This one's clear back out. 6.03 to go. Back on the Broncos, right side, Estefan looking in front. Pass skips away, tips recover, and clear back out by Kinda. 5.51 to play in regulation. And Kara up for Estefan to dump it in. The four checker is Malenstein. Got the hit on Fairbrother. Tips reroute it, right side, puck cleared, 5.38 to go. Tips need to catch their breath right now. Swift Current is buzzing, and Everett just they gotta settle down a little bit, collect themselves, get the puck deep a little couple of times and get some good shifts going. Left side by Cuff. Up against Kara with Richards forcing it in deep. Knocked away with 5.21 to go for the Broncos. Kara behind the net. Long toss up the right. Elder works it in. Behind Carter Hart. First on puck is Davis. Trying to maneuver away from fighting. As now Patterson wipes out Fontaine and now takes it right circle. And a centering attempt is jammed away by Gianni Fairbrother and clear back to center ice. That was really good work by Fairbrother. He took up a passing lane and then got his stick on a separate passing lane. So this is taken away. Right side now, Pilon Broncos zone. Dancing right side in front of Fasco. Ruta save made. Rebound sent wide. And behind the cage, Pilon up by for Wiley. Shoots blocked. Rebound in front. Knocked away again. Pilon had a half open net. Here comes Swift Current. Right side. Elder shoots the back in. The tension mounting again with 4.33 to go in period three. What theater here? Tips up 4-3. They bring it back in. Pilon. Send it right side for Sutter into the corner. And a pass across now played by Vala. Off the left board to took the shot and a save made Skinner. Rebound to the right side, Wiley. Into the corner. Force behind the cage. Tripped up, no penalty. Steenbergen, checked by Dewar right side. They force one ahead. Got it knocked away, tips control. Here comes Dewar left wing. In across the line, into the corner against King. Ties it up. Nearby is Bykov to control. Sends it back down to the line. Christensen fires, knocked down. And a rebound left corner and Fontaine to Bykov. Go to high pass, Christensen at the top for Kevin Davis to Richards off the bench right side. Richards driving wide, takes it behind the net. Off his back end now, left side. To the line, Christensen. Right side for Davis. Scoots it in behind the cage with 3.32 to go. Good shift here for the silver tips. Epo Niemi escapes the chaos and sends it up the right wing to Godin. He'll chip it in. Davis and Estefan pursue behind the net. Nope, they say icing. Swift Curran didn't gain the line. It's going to come back in. Broncos zone now and with 3.21 to go in the third period. The Silver Tips lead it 4-3. Well, the Tips did exactly that. They did a great job getting the puck in and then creating some pressure of their own. For a minute there, the puck was somehow behind Skinner in the blue paint. But Silver Tips couldn't find a way to get a stick on it and jam it in. Despite their best effort, they tried hard. But, boy... Both teams right now putting it all on the line. I mean, the Broncos battle back here in this third period. Had the silver tips on edge, but Everett did get a chance to settle down. And now with Carter Hart getting his skates tended to, maybe a pad tending to, that's an even an extra chance to collect themselves. But 
great response for Everett to come back here and at least make the Broncos, you know, you can't let them come at you for seven straight minutes uh, and try and withstand that. You have to put some pressure on them in their own zone, and Everett has done that. James Tuckey, equipment guru who has seen it all here since day one, two finals as well. Takes Kara Carter Hart and a face off back left circle, Swift current zone. Tips lead 4 3 and in shots at 37 24. Sutter wins a face off and a shot by Pilon, saves Skinner as he saw that one all the way and into the glove. And we have 318 to go in period three. Tight moments, every face off is huge now. The Broncos using this opportunity to change up lines. That means Everett's got a chance to respond, but Coach Dennis Williams is going to stick with this line of Sutter, Dewar, Pilon out there for the time being. Left circle face off. Also a doer out there. Davis and Vala on defense. Sutter wins the clean and Pilon. Protects the puck at the left circle. Dancing on by Sisson. Threw one wide of the net. And Sutter off the backboards. Pokes it to the right side. But taken away by the Broncos and Hepo Niemi. At the right side of feed to Manula. Stress toss up Niemi. Brings it back in. Left wing took the shot. Blocked by Andre Vala. Deflecting up and out, and we have now 2.57 to go in period three. Broncos demon are really good at those long stretch passes. They're not bashful. They'll, they'll, you know, they'll eat an icing call every now and then, and the Broncos, you can see off that faceoff, once they got control of the puck, that they were sending two bodies out there, Hepo Niemi and God, and were kind of swirling and circling out at the Silvertips blue line looking for that long stretch pass. Face off to the right of Carter Hart. 6,628 looking on. Trying to raise the volume and help the environment to force game six. Tips control by Goff clears. Right side sends it back in. Won't get there for icing. Manulin behind the net, gave it away. Left side for Bryce Kindop, nudging one of the corner and now by Goff, centering Fontaine and a shot blocked. Loose puck is cleared by Steenberg and we have 2.38 to go. I think Colby Sisson's gotten in the way of that one as the tips will send it back in. Sissons returns it to center. And now Wiley to Bykov and resetting. Left side for Vala. Up the left wing. Fontaine into the offensive zone. Protecting against Ben or their Noah King. Sends it into the corner. And now off the stick of Connor Dewar. 2.17 to go. Sissons around to the near side. King lead toss at center for Gennaro. Gain center red. He'll jam it back in. We'll keep our eye here on Skinner as this one's sent down. Tips control. Wiley will shoot it down the length. Icing call is coming up, though. And we have exactly two minutes to go in period three. And color me shocked here. I say it tongue in cheek. <laughs> if Swift Current pulls their goalie now for a timeout as well. I would think a timeout and a goalie pull is coming. Wiley had it on his stick. We don't see the timeout. We do see a goalie pull. We're going here, Mike. Six on five for Swift Curran. Face off left circle. Tip zone. It's Hart against Gennaro. Four three tips. And a false face off. They'll try it again here. I was about to say before that the icing call came from Wiley. Had it on his stick. Had Sutter and Pilon open at the top of the zone. Kind of split the difference, unfortunately, between them. And just right between both of them down the length of the ice. Dennis Williams. Mitch Love trying to direct back on the bench for play placement here. Puck is dropped, tips control, and now Dewar, far boards, locked up by Hepo Niemi. Wiley into support, frees it up, and now behind his zone net, off to the right side, Sutter digs in. Retained by Sissons. Sutter now floats one ahead of center. It's a foot race, here comes Dewar, into the zone, empty net, score! The pit bull gets behind everybody. Number 11 for the empty netter. 140 left in regulation. It's 5-3 silver tips. Well, what a huge goal that is for Everett. After Swift Curran had cut it to a one goal game, pulled the extra attacker. It was a real battle on that faceoff. It moved from the left circle over to the other side and then finally puck rim back around on the boards. Few different players had to fight for it, but Silvertips came up with it, surveyed the scene. Dewar took off, got on his horse real quick, 
and the puck was just laid out there for him perfectly. I think it was Pilon. We'll hear in a minute, but excellent job to relieve the pressure and get that empty net goal. Tim's keeping foot on gas pedal. They're going to knock it back in with a minute 32 to go. The assistance takes it away, and Estefan try to pass up the middle and knock down by Kinda. 5-3, Silver Tips trying to close it out. Sisson stretch pass at center, knocked down by Fontaine. Swift Current knocks it in. There goes Skinner again. To the right side, Davis clears. Here comes Bykov down the right, but beaten by Sissons in the Swift Current zone. Lee toss up the right, taken away by Vala. Return to Dewar from center left to throw the empty net and just sent wide. Minute left here in regulation. From the zone, zone Davis fires it all the way down. It goes for icing. And 6,628 souls trying to help close game five out with the silver tips on top by three and staring game six right in the face. It's been a great response here from Everett in this game five, and now we're going to get a timeout. And probably from the Everett bench this time just to rest some players. Less than a minute to go in this one and a two goal lead. But yeah, the energy in the building tonight has been terrific. It's been a great send off and the team really has responded tonight. Full 60 minute effort, which we saw in game four, but they've just been able to utilize their speed a lot better tonight. Get behind the swift current defense, force a couple of more turnovers than we've seen the Broncos make. And most importantly, Mike, cash in on those opportunities. That was the difference. That what was lacking coming into tonight. Silver Tips had five goals the first four periods of this series, but then just two over the next eight. That's what allowed the Broncos to kind of gain control and take this 3-1 series lead. But tonight, five more goals for the Silver Tips. That's a great sign. They can preserve this and hopefully find a way to find that same goal scoring touch in Swift Current. Skinner is still out, so it's six on five Broncos here with 54 seconds left. And a face off and deep to the right of Carter Hart. Sutter against Mateo Gennaro on the draw. Sutter won a clean. Got ahead, Dewar on a foot race against Steenberg and drops it Fontaine at center. Empty net, shovels it toward the crease and just sent wide. Sissons bangs it up the left boards for Godden. 40 seconds to play. Gennaro knocked away again. But a loose puck, Steenbergen slides it back in. Andre Valla lofting one ahead for Dewar. Got on by Sissons. Here's Dewar again. Empty net. Score! 28.1 to go for your dagger in game five. Connor Dewar. Back to back empty net tallies. 12th of postseason play. It's 6 3 Silver Tips. I didn't want to see that cup brought out tonight anyways, Mike. What a finishing touch from the Silver Tips. Great heart shown tonight. And just another opportunity with Connor Dewar out there, Sissons. A center fielder he was not as he kind of whiffed on that gloved attempt. Saw it go over his head. Dewar was in there harassing him, gonna give him a swat right as he went to field the puck. Tried to retrieve it from midair, but he fit, he whiffed on it big time and Dewar did not. It's 6-3 silver tips with 26 seconds left. A crowd of 6,628. We'll see the home chapter of 2017-18. Preseason, regular season and playoffs close this evening, but hoping there is one thriller of a chapter ahead. In this comeback attempt, the tips are hoping it starts tonight. Fairbrother behind the net to hang on. One second left. That will do it. Game five in the books. That's your final, and the Silver Tips have won it. We're going back to Swift Current. How sweet it is. Final score ever at Silver Tips six. Swift Current Broncos three. The series lead. Shot by the Silver Tips to three games to two. Really excited to see how this series plays out now. We knew this team had a lot of bounce back in them. We saw it throughout the entire season. The way they responded here tonight is exactly as they might have expected. They found their goal scoring touch. No reason to think they wouldn't. 
the highest scoring team in franchise history. Found a way to spread the wealth out tonight. Great coaching decision to start the game off from Coach Dennis Williams. Seemed to pepper some life into the guys. Both lines one and line three that saw the changes were both equally good tonight. And the Silver Tips will make it a little bit more crowded playing that heads off to Swift Current tomorrow. Down three games to one beginning this evening. For the Silver Tips now, it's one down and two to go. You do the math. In front of a crowd of 6,628, none who have virtually left. We'll try to close the home chapter here of this season and send this team off here for what they hope is one final storybook chapter heading out to Swift Current. Game six is happening. Final score tonight. The four crowd of 6,628. The Everett Silver Tips stay alive. 6-3 win over the Swift Current Broncos to chop the WHL Championship Series lead to three games to two. Stay tuned, your post-game show is coming up next, brought to you by Tulalip Resort and Casino. And you're listening to Sound Transit, Everett Silver Tips, Playoff Hockey on Fox Sports 1380 and FM 95.3.